Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Drug Dinner Podcast. I'm your host, Sophia. Welcome to the show. How's everybody doing? It's been a long time coming since I've filmed a video. It's just I've had a lot going on, and this video took me a minute to film. But here I am today. I'm so excited to finally get it up. Um, before we get started with today's shenanigans, don't forget to click the links below. I do have a Patreon. I am on Instagram. I am on um, my own website, Ravelry. So check those links below so you can see where I am. Um, and if you like my shawlette, it is available on Ravelry. This is my Dippers shawlette, or rather, it's a cowlette because it's a circle. Let me show you. Hold on. It's a circle, see? And so it's very easy to wear. It's like the ease and quickness of a shawl, but the wearability of a cow. And if you look closely at the lace details, you'll see that it's like, it's the big and little dipper constellations. How stinking cute is that? And that's available on Ravelry. So today I actually have a different type of video. I am gonna show you how I made this necklace using old aluminum, I think they're aluminum, like back in the day, or some type of metal uh, knitting needles. And this is a necklace where I just cut up knitting needles and I use jewelry wire and I, jewelry, jewelry wire. And then I just attached it to my necklace. I absolutely love these. These are great as like, just good Christmas gift for knitters. Um, they're also really good gifts for like someone who, who is like, uh, who has everything. Like I kind of have everything. <laughs> so this is like a great gift for someone like, man, I know you love the knit. I know you have a big stash, okay, of yarn and stuff and you probably don't need no more. This is just a really, really great, cute gift idea. It's also a good thing to do with people like if you have a, cause I've seen people do this with, um, if they had a friend who was a knitter who passed away or a loved one with a knitter who passed away and they have all these like old uh, aluminum needles or whatever metal these are, um, they, they actually use these to make like a little keepsake. That's also a great idea as well. Um, and so I've been making a few of these for a few friends and family and I'm gonna show you how I do it. It is so stinking easy. First off, everything that you're gonna need, it's going to be listed in the description below what links are where you can purchase them. Um, and so the first thing I did for this project is I just started drilling holes in my knitting needles. I didn't cut. I found it's easier to drill holes in a big item than in a small item. Um, just please note, when choosing your needles for this project, make sure they are hollow, okay? Um, the Bates needles are perfect. They drill so stinking easily. I did not need a special drill bit. Um, it was just in and you're out. So look for the Bates needles. Um, they were very popular back in the day. They still are, they still sell them. Um, so that's a great needle to start off with. So anyway, I drilled holes and I just literally picked wherever I wanted to cut. And, that's, and then I drilled a hole about a centimeter below where I wanted to cut. And then from there, I just cut a centimeter or so above the hole. It is that easy. I didn't measure a thing. I really kind of like the idea of like one being longer than the other. If you are a little particular about your, about your stuff, then feel free to measure and see um, if it's like the right size. I don't care. I kind of like it looking a little rustic. So I, to cut these, I use a jewelry saw. And I got my jewelry saw on Amazon. It was well under 10 bucks. It came with so many blades, it's amazing, which is good because the blades can snap very easily um, if you're not careful and if you're not used to using them. And so I just sawed through it. It was very simple, very easy. I barely had to apply any pressure. And then after I sawed through it, I took some, uh, some pretty gritty sandpaper. Um, it's coarse, I believe. It has no label on it, okay? Uh, <laughs> um, I just found sandpaper in my garage that was pretty coarse feeling. Uh, again, I bought almost nothing for this project besides the saw. And then I just very lightly sanded the top. You can see in the video, I barely sand it at all just so that way it's not sharp and it's not going to scratch the wearer or worse nick the, your nick your clothing which nobody wants that okay especially if you're wearing a hand knit sweater 
After that, it was time to dress these up a little bit. I used some jewelry wire, jewel, jewel, jewelry, jewelry wire. I can't say it, but you know what I'm talking about. I use that thing that's in the video. And I just stick about a couple of centimeters of wire inside the hole that we drilled. And what that does is that it helps stabilize it and helps keep the wire in place. And then I very, very, very tightly uh, wind the wire around the needle about two or three times. So I use my multi-tool to bend the wire over into a loop and then I continue to wrap the wire around the needle. And then once I wrap the wire about a couple of times around that loop to secure it, I snipped the, the wire and then I bent it inward so that way it's not gonna cut anybody and I just kind of molded it into place, kind of like Play-Doh. It's not really anything like scientific or any special like method, I just try to, finagle with it so that way it's not sharp and I did the same thing with the other one and then that's pretty much it like you're done yeah you just have to do the other one um you can do uh three different colors like you can do so much with this I only did two for this necklace um but you can really really play around with it and get like a really cool like outcome for example, I did this one with three and I kind of did the wire a little more like rustic. Focus, dude. There we go. I did the wire a little more rustic and then I made a little uh, rustic little loopy loop thing so that we could jingle like this. I don't know what that face is, I'm sorry. But you can really get creative with this. You know, you can just do one pendant, you can do a whole row of pendants, you can do so much with this. And this took me 15 minutes. Everything I'm showing you is pretty much in real time with like minimal editing. Uh, so it's a really, really quick, fast gift that you can whip out, you know, the day before or the day of so someone's special event. All right, guys, so I hope that helped out. I hope you really enjoyed this video. It's a different style. I'm gonna have another hands-on video for you next week or two weeks from now, hopefully next week, where we're gonna make Christmas ornaments. How stinking fun. All right, guys, I'll see you then. Bye.